Welcome to Maggie's World, the home of the greatest karma in the world. This is where you'll find, shine, and share the light within. My name is Maggie Ramirez, and I will be the host of this show here in Channel 3, Time Warner. My name is Maggie, and I am the founder of the Own Peace Center here in El Monte, California. The OMP Center is a space where you can come and relax, meditate, and just find that inner peace that we're all looking for. Today's show, we're gonna talk about creating the life that you want. How do you do that? How do you create the life that you want? There's different steps that we're gonna be talking about that you're gonna be able to take in your life so that you can create that life that you desire. We all have goals, we all have dreams, and you're able to do that. You just need to know and remember that all you need is already within yourself. So let's talk about the first step. The first step is understanding that you have that power within yourself. So just remember that all that you need is already within yourself. So stop looking outside for something that you already have within. So how do you get there? First, you get to know that you have a law called attraction. You get to attract what you want in your life. But if you're not sure of what exactly it is, you're not asking the universe, you're not asking for your creator to provide that for you. You get to be clear. You have to be clear and you also have to have that certainty within yourself that you will get it, that you will reach that point, that you will reach your goals. With that certainty, you can create anything in your life. So let's imagine that the universe is a waiter and you're walking into this restaurant and you're asking for, and you're very hungry. So you walk into this restaurant and you, the waiter comes to you and gives you the menu. And in that menu, you look at everything and you're so hungry that you just tell the waiter that you want everything. What do you think the waiter is gonna say? He's not gonna bring you everything. The waiter is gonna say, well, I'll come back when you're ready. And when you're ready, you're gonna order your, what you desire, what you really want. If you order a burger, the server is gonna bring you the burger. When the server brings you the burger, it's not the burger that you really wanted. What happens? You're gonna to have to just eat the burger or just send it back, right? That's the same thing in life. If you're not clear as to what you want, the universe is never gonna bring you that. You might get different things that are close to what you wanted, but never really what you desired. So here you get to understand that when you request something, from the universe, you get to be clear and certain as to what that is. So the next time that you go into that restaurant and you sit down, what will you be asking for? You're not gonna be asking for just a regular burger, are you? You're gonna ask for the burger exactly the way you want it. So if you want that burger, you ask for a burger with on one side of the bun, mayo, on the other side of the bun, some uh, dressing, and if you want two cheeses and you say, well, I want two cheeses, but I want one cheese on one side of the meat and another cheese on the other side of the meat. And I want my onions and the onions, I want them grilled and tomato and lettuce. See, now you're asking exactly, exactly what you want in life. And the universe will provide that. Why? Because you're being clear. Being clear to what you really want. And with that, you will always receive it. Because when you're clear here as to what you want in life, you know exactly what you're moving towards. Unless you have certainty, you will never reach your goals. So you have that certainty, right? You have that clarity as to what exactly you want. You open it up and you will begin to manifest it. Which way will you be doing that? Well, there is something called the law of attraction. The law of attraction is what you will be utilizing in order to create what you want in life. So what is the law of attraction? See, many people talk about the law of attraction, yet they don't really know how it works 
or how to use it for their own good. Why do I say their own good? Because you can use it for whatever it is that you want, but if you're never focused as to attracting the most powerful and good to your life, then you'll begin to see situations in your life that you really didn't want and you didn't know how you attracted that in your life. So knowing that you have the power within yourself to really request and to bring forth that, you'll begin to create it. So we're going to be talking about how to create that attraction, that information, that situation into your life that you want. So the law of attraction works this way. A thought is a vibration. So every thought that you create, every thought that you bring out into the universe, every thought will be created. Just like times when you think like, oh, I would like, you know, an ice cream. And then the ice cream truck, you know, comes by your house. You're like, whoa, I was just thinking about an ice cream. And there it is. You attracted it. You attracted that to your life. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't coincidence. You created it. And you get to understand that you have that power within yourself to create everything in your life, to bring forth everything into your life. So you create whatever you want. Think and you will create. So you think it will create a vibration and send it out into the universe. When you send that vibration out into the universe, you will begin to attract it. So everything that you're currently thinking, you are sending out and that in turn will bring whatever you're thinking back to you. That's why they say, watch what you think, watch what you say. Why? Because you are creating your life with every thought, with every emotion, with every word, and with every deed. So just begin to see where, where your train of thought goes. What are you thinking? What are you thinking is what you are creating. So if you begin to create more positive thoughts, you will be sending more positive, positive thoughts out into the universe and you will begin to see your life filled with more positive things. So this is what we're going to be doing. You will begin to see and take more, pay more attention to every thought and see how you, you will begin to create and, and bring forth that energy. The more you practice, the more that you will be creating that positiveness into your life. Think positive. And whenever you begin to see that you're thinking negative things, say, no, no, no. Put them aside, you know, have them disappear into the nothingness and say, that's just not, that's not what I want into my, in my life. And you'll begin to divide from one side to the other thoughts, the positive thoughts and the negative thoughts and begin to focus on bringing more positive thoughts into your life and create that. You'll begin to do that with your thoughts. Your thoughts create your emotions. If you, if you see how you begin to feel, it, you just didn't feel a, a certain way out of nowhere. It came from a thought. So you think something, you'll begin to feel the emotion that follows the thought. Now your emotion is another vibration. So you think something and that creates a certain vibration into the universe and you feel a certain way based on that thought. And that's another vibration that you're sending out to the universe. And when you feel a certain way, you speak based on your emotions, whether it's positive or a negative, the words that come out of you didn't come out without a thought and a feeling or an emotion. First, you have to have thought something that created an emotion within yourself and that brought forth the word, whatever you're speaking. And then what follows the word? A deed or an action. So remember, it's the thought, emotion, the word, and deed. So what you think, you will create an emotion that follows it. And what follows the emotion? The word. 
and after the word, the deed. Same thing. I'll give you an example. So, say you are driving down the highway and you're, you're okay, you're fine, you're singing along your music, and what happens? This guy cuts you off and you get really upset and then your thoughts, you know, you're in your thoughts, you're thinking all of this negative stuff and then your blood begins to boil and all of your emotions are upset and then you begin to say words to this person that you might not want others to hear and you know, you, what happens after you say certain words? The deed, the action, you might begin to honk and you know, speed up or whatnot right? That's how it all happens. There's, there's steps that follow. So it's first the thought, the emotion, the word, and the deed. And so that, everything that you do, everything that you think and feel and say has a consequence. Everything you do has a consequence. Based on the vibration, that it is the, cons the consequence that you'll have. So if the positive thought came through, you'll have a positive outcome. Now, if you have a negative vibration, then the consequence will also be negative. So think about what you are thinking before you send that vibration out. So you begin to control your thoughts. If you don't control, control your thoughts, then your thoughts are controlling you. If you don't control your emotions, then your emotions are controlling you. If you don't control your ego, then your ego is controlling you. So ask yourself this, are you controlling your thoughts or your thoughts control you? Are you controlling your emotions or are your emotions controlling you? Are you controlling your ego or is your ego controlling you? It's very important to really see where you're at in life right now. And when you are able to answer these questions, you will know why it is you have the life that you currently have. Because if you currently are not controlling your thoughts, then you're just on automatic allowing certain thoughts to create the life that you have. So if you don't have the life that you want, it might be because you're not controlling your thoughts. You're not controlling your emotions and you're not controlling your words that are coming out of your mouth. How many times haven't you said something and regretted it within seconds? Like, oh, I should have not said that or I should have not done that. When we are able to control our thoughts, control our emotions, we are able to be the controllers and creators of our lives. And that is what this show is about. I want you to be the creator of your life, to have the life that you truly want. It is very beautiful when you're able to wake up every morning happy, knowing that you will, will create the day and will not allow somebody else to affect you. Do you find yourself having other people affect you? People in your life, people in your circle? You get to understand that you have the power in allowing certain individuals into your life. What kind of circle do you currently have? Where do you find yourself? Who surrounds you? Who do you allow in your circle? Do you currently have individuals in your life that don't support you having a better life? You're always hearing negative feedback from your family members, from your friends. It's very important to know who you will allow in your life, in your circle, to create the life that you really want. We'll be back in just a few minutes after this quick break. Welcome back to Maggie's World, where you find, shine, and share the light within. Before the break, we were talking about your circles. Where do you have your people in your life? Your nucleus. Who is in the smallest circle? You're in the middle. And then who surrounds you? Is it positive people, positive you know, feedback that you get, or do you or do you always find yourself with 
individuals, whether it's your family or your friends or even your coworkers that you surround yourself with on a daily basis and that are not supporting you in your life to reach your goals. When you have an idea or when you have a dream of something that you want to create for yourself, do you find yourself in your nucleus with people that that are in your circle on your on your daily basis speaking with you talking to you whether it's in person or over the phone that are supporting you and giving you great feedback or do you find yourself with a lot of chatter that is not supporting you you might call that negative you know negativity somebody you know popping you know your dream bubble or do you find yourself with amazing individuals you get to understand that these circles, you have your nucleus, your smallest circle, your tight knit circle, and you have a bigger medium circle and you have a bigger circle and then the large circle. Sometimes it's important to place certain individuals outside of your nucleus. Why is that? If you are placing, say, your brother or your sister outside of your circle, maybe in the bigger circle, you know, or the medium-sized circle. What does that mean? That means that you maybe not speak to them on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. It, it just means that you get to create for yourself a more positive environment. This is your environment. You are creating a more positive environment for yourself, for your life. It doesn't mean that you don't love them anymore. It doesn't mean that you stop caring for them. It means that you love them and you'll see them once in a while and you'll send lots of love and blessings and and great energy their way. You just don't want to speak with them on a daily basis because their feedback, their energy might not be supporting you. Sometimes you walk into a room and you find the room already, the energy in the room kicking you out. Why is that? Well, there's a certain energy in certain environments. You get to also understand that and allow yourself to know that you have that ability to feel the energies in different rooms, in different environments, in different circles. And as soon as you walk into a circle, you know whether you want to stay there or not whether it feels like home, whether it feels pleasant, or whether you know you shouldn't be there. Your energy is always letting you know. You have your your self-conscious that is always letting you know, wait. For example, if you've ever been in a situation where it affected you or you felt affected, you probably knew a bit before you got into that situation not to be there or to be get away from that space you know you your your sixth sense let's call it was letting you know hey it's best for us to move away from here and you might say well something told me not to be there something told me to leave that something is that sixth sense is that It's your energy that's letting you know where you should be at every moment. The moment that you begin to listen to yourself, to your inner self, to that light that you'll find within, that energy, that's what light is. It's just pure energy. When you listen to your energy, you're able to create everything in your life because your energy, your light is always guiding you to the path that's always for your greater good always for your greater good now everything that happens in your life is always for your greater good when you begin to see every situation in your life as something that happens for your greater good you always begin to find the good thing about it like why did did this situation happen to me if you begin to find the good in it your life will shift why why did this happened to me I'm such a great person if you begin to see oh well this might have happened to me because of this that and the other and this is the lesson that I learned from it then you move away from it you let it go and you move forward in your life you move forward and you start looking at other things to create for yourself but if you get stuck and being a victim of why 
did this happen to me? I'm such a good person. And then a week goes by and you're still talking about why did this happen to me? You know, how much time did you waste on talking about why did this happen to me? You know, you wasted a whole week when you could have been very productive, creating so much more good in your life, but you didn't. You preferred to get stuck on the little situation. We do that on a daily basis, but we don't do it consciously. So I ask you, I invite you for now on to create a better life for yourself, to create the life that you want. For everything that happens to you, just declare that it's for your greater good. Declare that it's for your greater good and begin to see the good in it. Why did it happen to you? Well, it happened to me because of this, that, and the other. Well, I just got a flat tire on the highway. And, you know, you could be very upset about that. But you can say, you know what? I'm sure that it happened because I needed to stay off the road because I might have had an accident, you know, a mile you know, later. If you think about it that way, then you let it go. And you say, oh, I'm so glad that I had that flat tire. You fixed it, and then you went on your life. You went on your way. But you can talk about how you got a flat tire for a whole week and waste a whole week of a very productive energy that could create a better life, a better you. So this is very important. Creating the life that you want by controlling your thoughts, controlling your emotions, controlling your words, and controlling your deeds. Remember, what you do has 10 times the power to come back to you. So why is it that I have the greatest karma in the world? I always declare, that's my motto, I have the greatest karma in the world. And I really do. How is it that I created my karma? I created my karma with every thought, with every, every emotion, with every word and every deed. I know that I only have the best things coming to me. Why? Because I'm only thinking the greatest things. I'm only feeling the most positive emotions. And I'm only saying the most positive words. And all of my deeds that I do are always for the greater good. So I know that everything that's coming to me is very good. And even certain situations that many other people might think that are bad situations or negative situations, I always look to find the best within it. Because you'll always find good things within it. Always. All you got to do is look. And when you do, your life will change. Because you will begin to see the positive in, it, in everything. But remember, who is in your circle? Who is in your inner circle? Who is in your outer circle? Who is in the big circle? And who's way out there? It's important to take a, a few moments. Just take five moments. Make a list of the people in your life. Make a list and place them. Remember, who's in your inner circle? If it's your mom, and your mom is always, always saying that you'll never amount to anything, and that you might not be the smartest, you know, being on the tray, <laughs> then maybe your mom needs to be on the outer circle. It doesn't mean you don't love your mom. It doesn't mean that you, you're not going to be sending the best energy and the best, you know, love and blessings her way. It just means you don't need to be speaking to your mom on a daily basis, maybe. Or if you do, just make sure you're strong enough not to allow her words, her emotions, her feelings, her vibration to affect you. If you find yourself feeling strong enough to not allow that to affect you, then you can have certain people in your, in your inner circle because you know that you're strong enough. But if you know that currently what others say to you and whatever, whatever others do to you affects you currently, then you don't need certain people in your inner circle. You just might want them outside of yourself, outside of your inner core. You have the power and you have the control of your life. It's all up to you. No one will make you be in their circle. 
you get to say no to those that you really know will not support you in reaching the goals that you want in life. You can create whatever you want. You honestly can. You get to believe that. And when you do, when you truly believe, if you don't believe that you can achieve anything in your life, if you don't believe that you can achieve the goals that you have in your life, you won't. It doesn't matter how much I tell you that you can, you won't. You get to first be certain about it. You get to first believe that you can. And once you do, once you believe, once you know, once you are so certain that is going to happen, you get to move forward with the thoughts, emotions, words to create that. Remember, you, utilizing the law of attraction will bring forth everything that you want. You get to also declare that you have the greatest karma in the world, just like I do. This is Maggie's world. What is your world? How does your world look? The way you want your world to look, that is the way it will be. You get to design it. You get to create it. You get to make it the most beautiful thing that you want it to be. Or if you want to live in hell, you will also be living in hell. If that is the kind of world that you believe that you deserve. So what do you feel that you deserve in life? What is your desire? What do you want? I want you to have what you believe that you desire and that you deserve. You can make it happen and I can support you with that. You just need to believe it and you need to act on it. You need to also purge your circle, purge your nucleus. And once you do that, everything is possible. Now, the most important thing is to also understand who you want in that circle, in that nucleus. The individuals that support you in your goals in life, those are who you want right here. The ones that are telling you that you can achieve anything. Those that have gone down that path and that they know what's ahead of you and that they can support you and guide you. Before you hit a cliff, they're stopping you. They're letting you know, hey, stop, make a left, and then keep going. Thank you for watching Maggie's World. It's been a pleasure. And remember, this is the place where you will find shine and share the life within.